Bye. I'm at another estate sale. And I already found a gorgeous jacket. Look at this. Adriana Papandu. Petite large. I already found a gorgeous jacket. Look at that. In excellent condition. Isn't that beautiful? Look at that piece. It is gorgeous. You never know what you're going to find at a state sale. You never know, so you have to look at everything. Leather belts. Leather belts. Look at this interesting mirror. You pull it out. It's interesting how they do that. Mm-hmm. D-Age. Oops. D-Age. Cell returning control cream. Boy, that was probably expensive at one time. Real expensive. I haven't heard of that, but just, you know, just the name sounds real expensive. The name. And look at the makeup. They're selling used makeup. Jordana. Made in the USA. Oh, that's nice. I don't know how much they're selling it for, but I don't, I don't want to buy that makeup. Let me see what else they have. I'm just getting started here at this estate sale. Look at the boots. They're all dusty. Look, they didn't even clean them. They didn't even clean the boots. They didn't even take the time to clean the boots, but they're nice. They're all real nice boots. Look at this closet. It's full of clothes. It's jam-packed with clothes. Look at this. Ski jack, ski jumpsuit. Oh my god, that's great. Look at that. That's a ski jumpsuit. Beautiful. Those are really nice. Those are really nice. And look, look at all these scarves. I've never seen that before. A scarf hanger. I've never seen that before. People, this is a new one. This is a new one. What is, <gasps> no way. That's hand rolled. No way. And nobody bought it yet? Oh, I bet that's gonna be expensive. That's a hand rolled scarf. That's beautiful. But when I buy hand-rolled scarves, I look for the name brand. I look for a name brand. I can't find anything there. I know there's no tags, so I don't know who made it, if it's Chanel or what it is. And if I can't find a name, I'm very hesitant to make an offer. I can't, very hesitant to make an offer, but that's a beautiful scarf. But if you're going to sell that on eBay for resale, how would you really list it? Just as a silk scarf? I mean, don't they want to know, you know, who made it? I, th I think people do, so for that reason, I'm going to put it back. But, oh my God, that's gorgeous. Oh my gosh, I can't believe that. Broken heart, I don't know. I have no idea, but this lady had some pretty clothes. Very pretty. Very pretty, but I'm not in the market for scarves right now because I have over a hundred of them that I collected. That's pretty. Noah, Miss, Mr. Noah. These estate sales are really interesting because they have really good stuff sometimes, and sometimes they don't. But this one, oh, that's makeup on the... Mm. But those are nice hats. Look at this one. Look at this hat. Isn't that beautiful? That is gorgeous. That is Peter Grimm. Peter Grimm. That's a nice looking hat. I have a lot of hats already, so I'm probably going to pass on the hat. But this one is really nice. It's gorgeous. It's one of the best hats I've seen at any any sale. Now here's some bathing suits. Here's bathing suits. If you can find a bathing suit new with tags, buy it and put it on eBay. 
Look at this. It's a hip minimizer. Sometimes these are really expensive. These are really expensive swimming suits. Buy them. If they have the tag, like this one is Lane Bryant, $54. Buy it and put it on eBay for $29.95. There's plenty of people who will buy those. That's exactly what you want to look for. Clothes with tags. Put it on eBay. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. Absolutely. Well, that was a winner. Those two bathing suits are winners. I wonder how much she wants for those. And then that hat. That's beautiful. Mm -hmm. I like the chain on that purse. That looks like real leather. That looks like real leather to me. Punch. Punch case. Never heard of it. I'm sure you have. I'm sure you've heard of that. Shoe tree. And then we've got. What have we got in here? What have we got in here? Oh my god. She color coordinated her racks of clothes. Look at this jacket. Isn't that beautiful? Oh my gosh. Look at this. Elizabeth. A Liz Claiborne Company shirt. Look, color coordinated. Took the time to do that. Oh, and look at all these hats. Look at all these hats. Here's a nice one. Look at this white hat. These sometimes these vintage things are worth a lot of money, so you gotta be real careful when you're looking. You gotta be real careful. Here's a whole thing of wigs. A whole thing of wigs. Look at there's gotta be at least ten wigs in there. All in great condition. All beautiful. Unbelievable. TV ears. Mm -hmm. Oh, look at this chair. $50. Isn't that beautiful? Doesn't it make you just want to sit in there? But look. Look what the dog did. And they want $50 for that? There is no way. No way. That at one time that was a beautiful chair, but not anymore. Not anymore. Racks of scarves. And sewing stuff. Look at the clothes, they're all lined up. Lined completely lined up. Red, everything red. Then it moves to black. Here's something. It's got the tag still on it, $8.99, forget it. Look, the greens, Jones, New York. This is pretty. Dress Barn. Sometimes Dress Barn has some really pretty things. I Look at that. these unbelievable okay. cases. $500. Look at these cabinets and the cases. In the state. Look at all these cabin curio cabinets. Gorgeous. What else do they have? Uh oh, there's a case with some stuff. Let's see if it's porcelain. Let's see if there's any porcelain in here. Let's see if there's any anything I like. This is five dollars. Let me see. Is there? Nothing. I don't like that. Oh, I saw the chip right there. Found it. Retrospect. Belik. Belik. Okay, I wouldn't pay ten dollars for that. I'm sorry. No way. What is this? This another moriage there. It's beautiful. Hand painted. Nidden. I can't really read that too much, but those are beautiful. Nippon. Hand painted. Hand painted Nippon. That's a beautiful set. With the plates and everything. That's gorgeous. 
wonder if I should buy those. I wonder if I should buy those Nippon. Let me keep looking. Let's keep looking. Let's keep looking and see what else they have. What's over here? What is this? Oh, look at this bowl. Don't you just love porcelain? Frank Emsel and Company, Watertown, New York, Haviland, France. That's beautiful. Look at that whole set. Look at this whole set of Haviland. Oh my God, that is gorgeous. Boy, that is beautiful. Pacific made in USA. This looks good. This looks good. Anything made in the USA is really good. But as soon as we want it, as soon as we want it, she charges full price for it. I don't know why she does that. As soon as you bring it to her and make her an offer, she says, no, no, that's real expensive. <laughs> so you can never buy anything there. You can never buy anything from this one. But you can look. You can look. That is so cool. That's a planter. But that's beautiful. It's made in the USA. It's called Pacific. I've never heard of that company, but I like that. That was something that I would buy if I could, but, you know, everything is too, way too expensive. Way too expensive. What else do they have? What else do they have? Salt and pepper shakers are good. They're good, but I'm not sure about these. I don't think these are good. I think the I had just put out I just was at an estate sale last week that had really good salt and pepper shakers each one but I, I just couldn't bring myself to buy them I just couldn't she wants twenty dollars for this oh technique porcelain that's nice it's like La Crusade that's a pretty good price for that whole thing twenty dollars that's good, but as soon as I tell her I want it, it's going to be 30. <laughs> so what can you do, really? Not a darn thing. You just got to enjoy yourself at these estate sales. Made in China. I like that little fish. It's cute. Do you see anything that I should really buy here? Do you see anything that I should buy? I really like this, this Nippon. You think I should make her an offer on that? There's not even a price on there. I'm, I'm scared to ask. Look how beautiful that is. That's called, I learned from Dr. Lori, that's called Moriage there. The raised little bumps that's hand painted. It's gorgeous. And look, here's Barbara Streisand, the best singer in the world. Oh my gosh. But I don't really see anything else. I think, I think that's a wrap for today. And what do you, I just don't know. What do you think I should offer for this whole set? This whole set of Hevel and look at it. It's gorgeous. I'd like to offer her like 20 bucks for the whole thing, but do you think she's going to go any less than 100? What do you think? Should I offer her 20? I'm scared. Oh, look to. what I found. Cap, I bet it's Capa de Monte. I know there's a lot of knockoffs of Capa de Monte with the flowers and stuff, but I, I just know this is, so let's turn it over. Sure enough, Capa de Monte made in Italy. I knew it. Look at the latticed. Um, this is porcelain. It's beautiful. Look at the roses. They're in pretty good condition. I see a little chip right there. It looks like a chip, yep. It sure is, but it's not too bad. That's cute. I would offer her like $3 for that, but she'd never take it. That's probably, she's not even marked. But that's the, that's, I collect I collect Capa de Monte, but I just don't have any room for it, but that's really cute. She probably wants 20 bucks for it. It's not even marked. Here's another little room. Look at this. Here, this is a winner. This is beautiful. They want $10 for this platter. Oh, it's cracked. I found the crack on the bottom. Oh my God, it's stapled. Are those staples in there? This is France. This is Limoges. This is Limoges, and it's cracked. And they put some kind of staples, it looks like, in there. I've never seen anything like that, but that's a beautiful platter. Look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? 
Well, you never, you never know what you're going to find at these estate sales. This is Limoges from France. It's very rare to find that, really, and it's in real bad condition. I'd give him a dollar for it, and he'd probably take it. But I just don't know where to put it. That's the problem. Oh, boy, I don't have one space to put But that is really beautiful. Should I buy this Limoges for a dollar? Should I offer him a dollar? That's from France. And it's got, what is that? MR France 01032. MR. It's beautiful. That's what I look for. Porcelain pieces. Should I buy that for a dollar? Should I offer him a dollar? What do you think? I'm going to take it and all. Well, I'm going to leave it here for now. Tell me what you think. Oh my gosh, I'm not even going to go out here. Look at this garage. What's on the tables here? I can't Junk. It's a bunch of junk. Oh my gosh, it's a bunch of junk. What are these? Pacific. Those are interesting. Those are old boots. Pacific. Wow, when was the last time you saw one of these? Hard hat. You know, that's that's actually in pretty good condition. That's a hard hat. MSA. Hard hat. $10 for a hard hat. I like the Limoges the best so far that I've seen at this estate sale. The Limoges is my favorite. I'm going to go back to that Limoges. Let's see. Let's see. I'm going to go back to the Limoges. There it is. See, this is like a hidden treasure at an estate sale that they just put in the back room. It's broken, but you can't tell it's broken, really, unless you really study it. Should I buy that? Tell me what you think. Okay, thanks for watching. Bye. Should I buy that? For a dollar? I'm going to offer a dollar. Okay, bye.